So we're staying in the town of Teresa, which is 25 kilometers outside of Barcelona, staying with uh, friends who live here in this city. Teresa is the third largest uh, town or city in the Catalonia region. And this, uh, this today we've taken the opportunity just to come and have a look around the old town of Teresa, which has some interesting things to visit, uh, including this rather interesting building, uh, which looks a little bit like it could be a church, but was actually built as a residence, uh, built in 1910. And it was designed along the lines of Gaudi's architecture. So it was designed by someone inspired by Gaudi, but not built by Gaudi himself, but uh, using a lot of Gaudi's uh, design features that he implemented in his building work. Again, you can see how this building has been influenced by Gaudi. Uh, very few straight lines, really quirky design, uh, a lot of fun. 90% of uh, the textiles produced in the past for Spain came from Terrassa. So, so and this house used to belong to one of the textile businessmen, Senor Freccia. So it's a beautiful Catalan modernist house designed by Gaudi. It wasn't designed by Gaudi. Or was it uh, inspired it was by in Gaudi? Inspired by Gaudi. Inspired yeah. by Gaudi. So 90% of all textiles in Spain came from this town. That's what I understood from the person in the information center. I think and then she said also that this place is pretty full of chimneys and they were all taken. I think this was designed first of all as a factory, wasn't it? And then they changed the plans and it was turned into a... Um, then I think it was turned into a residence. Okay. That's my understanding. It's a nice little park as well here. So in Catalonia, there is quite a strong independence movement, although we were just discussing this uh, and saying we're not sure how strong it is amongst the younger generation, but a few years ago there was a big movement and a big vote uh, for Catalonian independence and the vote was unanimously unanimously? can't say that word anyway uh, strongly in favour of independence um, but the Spanish government wouldn't allow it uh, there's a lot of political upheaval and a lot of the political leaders of that independence movement uh, fled Catalonia fled Spain and uh, many of them were actually arrested and are now serving quite long prison sentences but uh, certainly amongst some in Catalonia there is that strong sense of uh, desire for independence and they have their own language, distinctive culture from the rest of Spain.
nothing like markets. It's nothing like that. I know. Well, this is what markets. Nothing like it. This is what markets could be like or should be like. But we buy everything in the supermarkets. So can you see like big Morrisons or big Astas or big Sainsbury's or big Aldi's or big? Did you see it? No. 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 Because people buy here. Yeah. They haven't damaged. They haven't allowed it. And are there no big supermarkets? There are, but like this city has got this market because there is nothing like that around it. Yeah. Yes. It's more social as well, isn't it? Yes. So which way? When so well we go back, we go out, yes. When it's, it's, more, it's, more, it's more that way. When Susie comes to town, you can't walk with her. She knows everybody. Yes. Everyone. Well, she's lived here all her life. Yes. Look at this. I'd like to take a picture. Is that what we are Yeah, I'm sure they do. Look at this. Look at the eggs. I'm not touching it. That's the eggs. So there's a rather attractive park, a bit like a central park, I suppose you might call it, in Teresa. That's not its name, but it does run quite a long way down. Nice place to go for a walk in the shade. And there's a municipal swimming pool at the bottom of the park. I don't know if it's open at this time of the year, but I'm just on my way to go and look at a historic church which uh, sits at the above the park. One thing I've Notice about walking through Teresa, it's, it's not a touristy town at all. It's a former industrial town, textile mills and so forth, as we were saying earlier. Um, but one thing that really struck me about the town centre is that I don't think I saw any empty shop units. So you can hear the <laughs> church bells there. No empty shop units. The, the town's bustling, loads of activity, lots of stuff going on. Uh, seems much more vibrant. British towns now. You know, shops are empty, uh, town centres, city centres are dying. Certainly that seems to be the case with Carlisle. And yet here in Teresa, full of life. And as I say, it's just an ordinary town, big place, population over 200,000. But uh, yeah, full of life. Maybe that's the difference between Spain and, uh, and the UK. So, unfortunately, I've arrived during the siesta time, so the church is closed at the moment. It does look interesting, but the uh, information on the outside was saying that the church foundation goes all the way back to the 5th century, so the end of the Roman Empire, and contains some of the most important Romanesque um, architecture found anywhere in Catalonia. <laughs> Sevilla, 
esperando me da abrí que ya esperando me da abrí que bonita está Sevilla o esperando me da abrí que bonita está Sevilla o esperando me da abrí que esperando me da abrí yo me voy para mi Sevilla que me quiero